Fans of the show know that in Animal Kingdom has knocked off and wiped out many characters over the course of its six bloody seasons. If we took a shovel and dug anywhere in the desert, we're likely to accidentally find a body buried there by Cody's. In today's video, we'll be sharing our list of the most shocking deaths to take place across all the seasons. So let's dive straight in. At the number 11 spot, we've got Lucy. Baz had another woman, Lucy, and it seems that he really cared for her, even more than his wife. And the Cody family wasn't getting the better of Lucy, who was tough as nails. Her passing was especially painful for fans of the show since they believe she was incredibly smart and strong and she passed away in front of her kid at the hands of that pesky Mia. If all her previous actions weren't enough to get people to hate Mia, his definitely sealed the deal. What makes her death all the sadder is that Baz and she were about to start off their perfect life right before all of it got taken away. After Smurf had Baz killed, it didn't really come as a surprise to fans that it was Lucy's time to go too. Still, that didn't make any less hard to watch unfold. Moving on to number 10, there's Agent Living Good. Living Good served as one of Animal Kingdom's primary villains for the past two seasons. When Adrian Dolan, who's played by Spencer Tree Clark in the series, tries to use his surfboard to carry cocaine out of the country, Living Good arrives right on the scene. Dolan, who faces a lengthy 25-year prison term, makes a deal with Living Good in exchange for immunity. He just needs to direct them to his supply. Sounds like a fair deal, right? Unfortunately, things don't really play out as expected. This is because the DEA agent quickly establishes a link between Adrian and Darren, who's portrayed by Jack Weary. Agent Living Good ultimately bites the dust in Season 5 episode Relentless. While some might have felt like that was for the best, it's clear that the series simply made way for someone who's a lot more dangerous and menacing. Taking the number 9 spot, it's Colby. Colby first appeared in one of the episodes of Season 3 called In the Red. After Jack Muntean is executed by the DEA with Adrian's assistance, Colby correctly theorizes that Adrian was cooperating with the law, and he blackmails Darren for $20,000 as payback. Darren shoots Colby in the head, tells Pope that he was one speaking to the police, and then buries Colby's body in the desert to protect his boyfriend. Darren later feels guilty for killing Colby. He'd never killed anyone before this point, so we can definitely see why he comes to regret his actions. Later in Season 6, Pope leads the cops to Colby's body and even takes the blame for the murder instead of blaming it on Darren. Guess he really took one for the team there. For number 8, we've got Mia. We're sure everyone watching the show was yelling at the scenes for Jay to finally stop Mia's crap. When she first started working for Smurf, viewers quickly realized realized that she was the person who actually killed Baz. Just in case that wasn't enough to get everyone to hate her, she also murdered Lucy. Plus, let's be real, Mia is just straight up not a nice person, and just kind of a bore to watch on screen. It's one thing for someone to be a bad person in a show, but when their character has little to no redeeming qualities, it's tough for the audience not just to tune out all their scenes. Luckily, Mia doesn't make it too far into the Animal Kingdom, surviving only about 20 episodes. The character quickly bit the dust, and we're sure many of the fans of the series were thankful for that. After discovering how cunning Baz's executioner really was in Season 4, Episode 8, Jay was given the choice to shoot Mia in the head, and he did so, finally avenging Baz's death. Moving on to number 7, it's Penny. Jay's girlfriend Penny, who was played by Stevie Lynn Jones, also died after she made the decision not to flee with her boyfriend. Jay mixed Penny's cocktail with poison, and he was crying as she passed away. And though it was tough, he just knew that he couldn't leave any unfinished business. The legal assistant was unable to anticipate it, and we were all too aware that Jay had it in him to poison his significant other in the series finale, just considering everything he'd done by that point. It's a tough moment to see for all the fans, but one that we think many saw coming. Making his way to number 6 on our list, it's Morgan. The Smurfs lawyer, Morgan Wilson, was just slightly less annoying than Mia Benitez, and that's a pretty significant achievement considering how unlikable Mia tends to be. The attorney met with Jay several times to resolve some money issues with Smurf while he was jailed. Ultimately, she ended up being chopped on Jay's boat and thrown into the water to drown since it seems that he was just always a step ahead of her. Having said that, nobody who was part of the show or watched it was very upset when she was done. We have to say that this was arguably one of the most brutal murders on the show too. Next, for our number 5 spot, we're moving on to Pope. Regardless of how much Animal Kingdom fans may have wanted Pope to find happiness, come on, we know it was never going to happen. We all knew in our hearts that he wouldn't make it through the gut-punching finale. Showrunner Daniel Nathanson was aware of his fate from early on, and while speaking with TV Line said that he's a killer, so there needs to be an ending that's fitting. She states that he wouldn't escape punishment. The character himself probably knew that just considering the show's overall spirit. Andrew's death would come in the first place if these fatalities were graded according to how heartbreaking they were. By this point, you probably get that we're ranking these 
based on how shocking they were. He wouldn't make it past the show's finale. We all knew that. For number four, there's Catherine. One of the most heartbreaking deaths in the series was Kath's. She may not have been the most engaging character, but honestly, the only error she made was to cross Smurf. It was extremely disheartening to know that Lena's mother had passed away. It was even more upsetting that Pope, who had always loved her, had been the one to do it. Smurf tries to portray herself as a woman who prioritizes her family above all else. Yet it was cruel that she had no remorse about getting rid of Kath and was prepared to cause her son emotional harm by tricking him into killing her. It was expected that Smurf would give the order to kill Baz's mother, although it is absolutely shocking and frightening that the Pope would be obey the order after sleeping with the lady he'd loved for so long. Moving up the list at number three, there's Craig. Darren and Craig did everything they could to get the money for their escape strategy before Craig was shot and died as a result. The actual scenario of Craig's passing was understated but moving. We had numerous ideas about how the middle Kobe brother would eventually meet his end. Never did we see it happening because of a kid carrying a gun during a minor league robbery, as it was in the show's finale. At the number two spot, we have Baz. We learned in season three premiere that Smurf's surrogate son hadn't survived the hit that she had inflicted on him at the end of season two after a long, hot summer of anticipation. It was heartbreaking to see Baz go simply because he was one of the most interesting characters in Animal Kingdom. Much worse, his surrogate mother Smurf was the one who had him off, which makes it even more heartbreaking that he seemed to be about to begin his ideal life with Lucy when he was ruthlessly gunned down. The Cody family's problematic dynamic may have been challenged by him, but it never really seemed as though one of them would kill the other. It seems like a major oversight that this potential connection was overlooked given that Baz was probably Jay's father. At the top of the list, it's Smurf. We never really thought that the show would go there. However, it turns out they did. Smurf's death is probably a good thing when you really think about it. The character was incredibly dangerous and toxic, and there's no denying that she was a great character though, around which most of the series was actually founded. Throughout the series, a lot of the characters have come and gone, but a few of their deaths had the kind of impact that Janine's death did on the program. She left the way she wanted to, and it was intriguing to see how her family carried on without her. And that's a wrap for this video. Which of these deaths was the most shocking? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.